Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some new items to my wardrobe in partnership with Everlane as well as a bit of a transitional style capsule wardrobe. You all know how much I love this time of year. Autumn and spring I just think are so much fun when it comes to getting dressed. You have so many more styling and layering opportunities and you can just put together some really interesting outfits. So I always have fun when the seasons start to change with what I'm wearing and I also think it's a really great opportunity to kind of experiment a little bit. Now if you aren't familiar with Everlane they are kind of my go-to brand when it comes to wardrobe basics. I feel like quite often a lot of the basics they have have a little bit of a twist. They add some modernity to it and I really love what they are doing around their plastic use. So they're removing all virgin plastics from their manufacturing and replacing them with recycled materials. So really really cool and I have a couple of items from their Renew line which I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. But I want to dive right into it and just get started with one of my favorite go-to pieces from the brand which I will always recommend if you ask me where to start. It is their Alpaca Crew sweater. Now I'm currently wearing the Almond which is my, I love this color, I just think it is so beautiful. It's a very pale oaty color, it goes with everything. But I decided to add for the autumn winter here in Australia, the Heathered Black. And I've had my eye on this particular color for a really long time just because I like the fact that it isn't super dark. So it is a bit of a faded black and that heathering in it with the sort of pale gray or silvery gray little threads, I think help to soften it and remove a little bit of the contrast that you might get if you're wearing something that is this dark. Um, I know me in particular, when it starts to hit the middle of winter and all trace of any tan I might've had has left my complexion. I do sometimes find that black items can be a little bit high contrast and uh, wash me out a little bit. So something like this, I think will be a really good basic and you really can't go wrong with a dark knit like this. So comfy, cozy, super soft and they just get softer the more that you wear them. It's quite a cloudy day so I'm just adjusting the lighting and hopefully this isn't going to come off too blown out on camera but the next item I wanted to mention is the washable silk Henley. Now I love silk as a fabric. I think it feels really luxurious and it's a great way to add a little bit of extra texture into your outfits. Uh, it's also just a really beautiful fabric to wear in the winter time as well as it helps you to retain heat while still allowing your skin to breathe through the fibers. Um, and this I was really drawn to mostly because of the contrasting button detail down the placket here, which I thought was really interesting. Um, when it comes to me and adding any sort of basic to my wardrobe, I'm always looking for that little twist that little element or detail that makes it feel a bit more special and elevated from uh, your basic pieces and that to me I just thought was really beautiful added that nice contrast uh, it's also got the pockets on the breast there as well this is a really lovely loose fit I went with the US 4 which is an Australian 8 and it's a really good kind of oversized fit with the drop shoulders it is a little bit more cropped than some other blouses but I find I tend to wear stuff like this a lot with high-waisted pieces so it tucks in really nicely without there being too much excess fabric Next, let's talk about a pair of pants. These are the Fatigue Barrel Pant and I was drawn to these because of the color and the style, the silhouette, I thought was really interesting and I don't have anything like this in my closet. So I thought they'd be a really fun option for me to sort of transition my wardrobe through to winter. And also obviously perfect if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and, and are heading towards spring as they're a lovely light fabric. They're an organic cotton and linen mix. So they have a little bit of texture to them, uh, but they're really just breathing easy to wear. Um, these also have these little button tabs on the side here so that you can adjust the fit. I got them in a US 2 which I find is my best size in Everlane trousers. I find the zero fits but it's just a little bit too tight and when I put them on I almost thought that maybe they might not fit me. <laughs> I thought they might have been a little bit big at the waist but when I moved the button over so I've got it on the tighter of the two settings I found that they were the perfect fit everywhere. They didn't feel too tight in the seat um, and yeah the length of them it comes to around about my ankle. I am 172 centimeters tall just for height reference however I do have more of a petite length in seam so quite often I will get the shorter length trousers just as they fit me a bit better. Um, yeah and the one of the unusual details on these trousers actually that I wanted to highlight is the pocket placement. I haven't really seen anything like this so it feels a little bit utilitarian in its nature like a bit 
a bit like cargo pants, I suppose. So the pockets are on the back, but also on the side. So rather than having a pocket on the front and then on the bum, you have them on the side there, which I think creates a really interesting visual element to the trouser. In addition to the fact that they have that more unusual silhouette with the barrel leg, which kind of goes out the sides and then tapers in towards the ankle. And I absolutely love the color. These come in, I think, three colors, and I went with the one called Bay Leaf, which I have a jacket in the same color as well. And I just think it's a really beautiful military green with a bit of a desaturation to it. Okay, next item that I added is a classic from Everlane. This is actually one of their older styles and um, I do have it in a couple of other different colors. This is the oversized wool blazer and I really wanted to add the black version to my wardrobe. And one thing I kind of wanted to play a little bit with was intentionally oversized fits. So I've been thinking a bit about sizing um, and about how you know a brand or a designer will will actually cut a piece to fit a particular way and so this blazer is supposed to be worn oversized supposed to have that larger fit to it so I decided to get my usual size US4 and I have to say I actually think I prefer it in my usual size um, to how it looks on me as opposed to how my herringbone one which I have in the US2 fits uh, which is a little bit more of a um, oversized but tapered fit whereas this one has a bit more of a generally oversized fit um, really really beautiful quality uh, such a, a nice lush Italian wool and it's also fully lined as well um, a really beautiful option if you want something that's a little bit more masculine for the office but can also do double duty for the weekend as well which is something I tend to think about a lot when adding anything to my wardrobe I want it to be as versatile as possible so that I can make as much use of it um, as I can I did want to quickly mention, which I'll be styling up in the uh, capsule wardrobe bit at the end, the drape trench because I did just see that it's been released in another color. It's kind of a petrol blue color if memory serves me. I've had this for a while now, around about a year, year and a half, um, and it's just a really beautiful option. This is kind of the bone color. I will list the proper color down. I think it's called sandstone actually, and it is a little bit of a pink toned cream, but a really, really lovely trench coat and um, this one is a cotton twill so it's not going to be water resistant um, but I think it's just a classic style for the transitional season. Um, the final kind of clothing piece that I wanted to uh, talk about is this Renew Anorak and I love this. So this is the same color as the barrel pants and this is actually made out of recycled water bottles so it's all recycled polyester. So one thing I talked about in a recent Weekend Outfits video is how I was wearing this on a day that it was raining and it kept me so toasty and warm. Because it's made from um, a polyester, it does mean that it's going to retain a lot of heat um, and I found that this is a really good windbreaker. I wasn't 100% sure when I was talking about it in that video whether it was water resistant or not, but it is. So definitely great option if you get caught in a downpour, which I did and I can say that I was very, very dry underneath my clothes um, but yeah I just think this is a really good classic coat I found that this particular style does fit a little bit on the larger side so I've got the extra small and it's still very roomy through the arms and through the body so I can fit a chunky sweater underneath it no problem at all that's what I want to do and again I do love the hood it's got the ties so you can adjust it so it fits snugly if it is very very rainy and I think this is a really good length as well um, I think this would be a great one to take with you if you were traveling somewhere wet um, you know when we can properly travel again as well because of how thin it is so it's something that'll pack down very very easily and also isn't going to take up loads of space in your wardrobe then the final piece that I wanted to talk about which I added to my wardrobe is the mini backpack and I thought this was so sweet so this is made out of recycled nylon and then it also uses recycled polyester for the inner lining um, and I thought I think this is a really great size I talk a lot about how in terms of bags I find that a smaller crossbody bag really works for me but also equally convenient is something that I can just throw on my back as well because quite often I'll be carrying my son on my head and he'll kind of be sitting just above where my handbag is so he'll be kind of crushing it a little bit um, it can be a little bit awkward so having a backpack like this I think for me will be really really useful and I can always just throw it over one shoulder like that otherwise you know in a pinch you can just hold it from the top um, and I think that's 
really, really handy. Love the fact that it's got the little zipper pocket at the front and then also at the back, it's just one large open compartment on the inside. Um, and yeah, I thought this was really, really sweet. Another item that packs down really, really flat as well. So a good one for traveling, for stashing in your bag if you maybe need a little bit extra storage. Um, and yeah, I just love the fact that it's also part of their Renew line. It's been really cool seeing all the different styles that Evelyn have come out with that are made from recycled materials. So those are the new pieces that I've added to my wardrobe from Evelyn this month. I'm really excited about them and just as I say this, it's started pouring down with rain. Perfect transitional season weather. So let's dive straight into the outfits. <laughs> I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration for your own transitional season wardrobe, got a few different ideas. As you can see, you can do a lot with very little, which is something I personally really love. And it's one of the elements that I'm drawn to of the capsule wardrobe experience as a whole. I wanna say a big thank you to Evelyn again for partnering with me on this video. It's always such a pleasure as I absolutely love wearing their items. And there's something that you see pop up in most of my videos, as I'm sure you'll know if you've been a long time subscriber. Thank you again for spending some of your day with me. Uh, and I would love to know if you had a favorite piece or if you had a favorite outfit from the capsule wardrobe element. I will have every single item that I featured linked down in the description box below, along with my sizing information as well. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.